beautiful morning where I live and here I am doing a quick grocery shopping to show you two of my very special yet easy keto recipes of some famous Indian chicken I'll be showing you how to do a chicken ghee roast and a butter chicken masala and here I am grabbing my final thing on the shopping list the chicken from the supermarket has about one kilogram of chicken leg and thigh pieces these are preferred options for the keto recipes because these pieces are quite high in fat when compared to the chicken breast I start by putting switching on my burner and placing a wide mouth pan on them this recipe begins by roasting a few important spices including 10 dried red chilies, a half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds and about half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and again about half a teaspoon of peppercorns. You put them directly into a pan on medium flame and give them keep giving them a quick stir every now and then until they've slightly changed in color and become golden brown what you also need is some coriander seeds but i have clearly run out of them and therefore i have added about one tablespoon of coriander powder instead and i keep roasting them over medium flame as you can see until they become light and crisp after about three to four minutes i notice them starting to change color and this is the time i'm going to use a spatula and put them into a blender Before I actually go ahead and blitz them, I also add about five cloves of garlic and about half an inch of ginger, evenly chopped, and this is followed by about two tablespoons of tamarind juice. Now you can modify the amount of tamarind juice you'd like to add, but we like it a bit tangy. So add the spice mix that we blitzed a little minute ago I'm going to make sure I clear off the entire blender and also please don't hesitate to add a little bit of water and get all of the spices off from the blender jar and this is followed by about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and also sea salt to taste Next, you go ahead and add about two tablespoons of plain, unflavored, thick yogurt into the mixture. You give them all a very good mix. Honestly, using my hands is so satisfactory for some reason, but you can by all means go ahead and use a spoon or a pair of tongs. At this stage you're going to leave your chicken to marinate for at least a minimum of 15 minutes while that goes in the background you heat up a white mouth pan in on your burner and you add about half a cup of organic ghee or clarified butter now you've got to be a little bit generous about the amount of ghee you use because as the name suggests this is a chicken ghee roast recipe following this you are going to go ahead and add about two medium sized onions which have been diced and you're going to give them all a very good mix until the onions have become translucent and, and have started to fry 
frying these onions took well over 15 minutes for me and at that stage I'm going to take my marinated chicken and place them into my fried onions in the pan along with all the spicy goodness that we blitzed earlier and all the yogurt and the turmeric mixture you go ahead and give them all a nice twist and turn in your hot pan and at high flame You're going to start notice in a little while that the chicken starts giving away its own water so you're just going to let it stay there and cook for a little bit you could use a lid and close your pan so that it's just going to help the overall cooking process while you feel that it's ready you are going to use some curry leaves over it and again give them all a very good mix to let the flavor of those curry leaves to just seep into your chicken ghee roast and now for the last and final ingredient of this recipe is juice from half a large lemon squeezed into your ghee roast and there you go you have your final ghee roast ready to be served now that the chicken ghee roast is done it's time to move over to our second recipe which is a butter chicken masala a perfect butter chicken masala the keto way but what I'm going to show you here today is the simplest of them all I get about one kilograms of chicken thighs and legs again and over them I add about one tablespoon of extra hot chili powder followed by about half a teaspoon or one te tablespoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala powder sea salt for your taste we then go ahead and add one tablespoon of dried fenugreek leaves which are otherwise called in India as kasuri methi now this is going to give some really fantastic flavor to our butter chicken recipe today again I go ahead and use my hands and rub all of those marinade into the chicken and I'm going to leave it to rest for at least 15 minutes before I get them to cook. While I do that, I take my blender jar and I'm going to add about five garlic cloves and a half an inch of ginger, which has been chopped into small pieces. This is followed by about two small or medium sized onion, which have been chopped to quite large pieces. It's not too small as you can see and this is followed by about two small tomatoes and I'm going to use this in my Nutribullet and get it very well blitzed going to be our curry for the chicken for our butter chicken recipe now as you can see these are perfectly low carb and keto friendly recipes and you can alter the amount of onions and tomatoes that you add if you're really worried about the carb count but for me I am cooking this for my family and also this will never be a single serving for me so onions that I add into this recipe is not a massive problem in terms of its carbs and also I prefer to have a little bit more of an oniony taste into my curries in order to sustain my low carb diet lifestyle. So once I've got the marinade and the curry ready, I'm going to take a wide mouth pan and pour about three tablespoons of olive oil into it and let it just heat up over medium flame. 
following that I'll be going ahead and adding some of those chicken pieces onto the olive oil and fry them until they are quite crisp and golden. Now this is perhaps the only time consuming step of this entire recipe so you've got to give the chicken about five to ten minutes on medium flame to fry and keep moving them across so that they are very well cooked now as you turn over your chicken i hope you can appreciate on my video the light and thin golden crust over it which is absolutely beautiful Now we as a family enjoy chicken very well cooked so I've, I've just let it brown a little bit more than usual so following that I am going to go ahead and add about 50 grams of butter which has been cut into small blocks I'm just going to place it randomly over the pan and let it just melt and seep through those fried chicken and let those chicken just get really simmery and get all those buttery flavor into it. Now I am going to give this another lap of frying and um, like I said, we enjoy our chicken where the meat just comes off the bone so when you feel that has happened go ahead and add the marin the curry marinade that you had blitzed earlier onto your mixture and give them all a very good mix and let the curry just incorporate with that chicken and the buttery goodness in your pan Now having said all of that, you could go ahead and use some boneless pieces of chicken for your butter chicken recipe today. Once the curry and the chicken has started to incorporate, I go ahead and add about half a cup of fresh double cream. Give them all a very good mix and this double cream is what will give your butter chicken masala a beautiful creamy texture. Now all I do once I add double cream is get them heated up and then switch off the flame. I do not really boil them for too long for I do not want to lose the original texture. So there you go, your final butter chicken recipe is now ready to be served. could go ahead and use some chopped fresh parsley leaves to garnish or alternatively you could also use some chopped coriander leaves it's just the nutritional benefits are higher for parsley in comparison to coriander which has prompted me to convert into parsley for almost all of my recipes So here you are, we've got our butter chicken masala and chicken ghee roast, two very simple low carb keto chicken curry recipes which are best served with a bowl of salad or cauliflower rice 
or if you're not on the keto plan you can have it with a lovely ghee rice thank you for watching and if you do like my content like share and subscribe to my channel